China's private aerospace company, Galactic Energy, achieved a significant milestone by successfully launching its Series 1 rocket, carrying eight satellites into orbit. This event not only underscores China's rapid advancements in commercial space endeavors, but also highlights the growing role of private enterprises in the global space industry. In this video, we'll delve into the specifics of this mission, explore the capabilities of the Series 1 rocket, and discuss the broader implications for China's space ambitions. On March 17, 2025, something remarkable happened above the deserts of northwest China. A rocket named Series 1 lit up the early morning sky at exactly 4.07 a.m. local time. Its mission? To carry eight commercial satellites into orbit, and it succeeded flawlessly. This wasn't just a technical achievement. It was a clear signal that China's private space industry is stepping confidently onto the global stage. The launch took place at Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, and the mission was dubbed Auld Lang Syne, a poetic name for a launch that was anything but sentimental. It was precise, ambitious, and executed with the kind of reliability that even some state-run programs struggle to achieve. Let's talk payloads. Of the eight satellites launched, six were from the Yunyao 1 series, specifically units 55 through 60. These aren't just passive observers in space. They're equipped with GNSS occultation technology. That means they can gather essential data about our atmosphere, temperature, pressure, humidity, and ionospheric electron density. This kind of data is invaluable for improving global weather prediction models and studying climate dynamics in real time. Then there's the pair of AirSat satellites, Units 06 and 07. These two carry multispectral imaging payloads designed to observe Earth across various wavelengths that enables detailed analysis of environmental conditions, vegetation health, land use changes, and disaster-prone regions. These satellites contribute to everything from crop management to emergency response after natural disasters. The Series 1 rocket itself is no slouch. Standing around 19 meters tall with a diameter of 1.4 meters, this four-stage solid propellant rocket is built for reliability and speed. It can carry up to 400 kilograms into low Earth orbit or 300 kilograms into a 500-kilometer sun-synchronous orbit, perfect for Earth observation missions like this one. This launch marked the 18th flight of the Series 1 and its 17th successful one, making it one of the most dependable private rockets in China. When we think about space exploration, we often picture massive government agencies with billion-dollar budgets. But Galactic Energy is rewriting that script. Founded in Beijing, this private aerospace firm has carved out a powerful position in China's expanding commercial space sector. And it's doing so not with fanfare, but with consistent success. Just like the latest Series 1 launch proved, Galactic Energy's Series 1 rocket isn't just a one-off experiment. It's part of a well-executed business strategy focused on delivering frequent, affordable access to space. The rocket uses solid propellant, a choice that prioritizes simplicity, safety, and cost efficiency. It's small but mighty, able to lift multiple payloads in a single mission and reach precise orbits with speed. What makes Galactic Energy stand out isn't just its hardware, it's the trajectory of its reliability. Out of 18 launches, 17 have been successful. That level of consistency has earned it the best success rate among China's private launch providers. And in a commercial landscape where trust and performance dictate long-term contracts, that reputation means everything. But this isn't a company content with staying in its comfort zone. While Series 1 is the current workhorse, Galactic Energy is already preparing for the next phase, Series 2. This upgraded version will offer more than four times the payload capacity, enabling missions that support more complex and heavier satellite systems. That leap shows the company's appetite for scale and more lucrative contracts. Even more ambitious is the upcoming Palace One rocket, which will transition galactic energy into the liquid-fueled, reusable launch vehicle game. That means competing with international heavyweights, not just in China's domestic market. Palace One will eventually support up to 8,000 kilograms to low Earth orbit, and its reusable design points directly at the future, where cost per launch drops dramatically and rapid reusability becomes the gold standard. This rise of galactic energy is also emblematic of a larger movement within China. 
The country is nurturing its private space sector through policy support, investment, and infrastructure expansion. The success of the March 17th launch wasn't just a win for galactic energy, it was another strategic brick in the foundation of China's long-term space ambitions. The global space landscape is changing rapidly, and China is positioning itself not only as a leader in national space missions, but as a serious contender in the commercial arena too. This latest launch proves that the country is accelerating on both fronts. Let's look at what these eight satellites mean beyond the immediate mission. The six Huya-1 units now orbiting Earth will provide constant streams of atmospheric data, helping scientists better understand weather systems, climate behavior, and upper atmosphere conditions. That kind of insight isn't just academic. It has real-world applications for agriculture, disaster planning, air travel safety, and even telecommunications. The AirSat pair, with their multispectral imaging, contributes to global efforts to monitor land use changes, assess forest health, and detect potential disaster zones like floodplains or wildfire hotspots. The information these satellites send back will empower faster, more informed decisions on the ground, decisions that can literally save lives and livelihoods. But here's where it gets even more strategic. This mission was only the 13th orbital launch by China in 2025, and already there are projections that the country could aim for more than 100 launches this year. That would shatter all previous national records. And a big part of that push comes from private firms like Galactic Energy. The government's role here is critical. By creating spaceports, offering launch windows, and streamlining regulatory approval, China is sending a clear message. Private space is not just allowed, it's encouraged. And with companies like Galactic Energy proving their reliability, the trust gap between state and private actors is shrinking fast. Looking at the global picture, this trend has serious implications. Commercial players from China are beginning to challenge Western providers in areas like satellite imaging, data services, and low-cost launch options. If Galactic Energy follows through on its roadmap, with Series 2 and the reusable Palace, one, it could become a go-to solution not just within China, but for clients worldwide. The successful launch of the Series 1 rocket by Galactic Energy marks a pivotal moment in China's commercial space endeavors. It exemplifies the growing capabilities of private aerospace companies and their integral role in advancing space technology and exploration. As China continues to support and invest in its commercial space sector, we can anticipate more innovative missions and collaborations that will contribute to our understanding of Earth and beyond. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.